Hi everybody, it's Stephanie. It's Sunday, August 15th. And right now it's raining cats and dog outside. So anyways, I work today. I got home. I slipped into something more comfortable. And then I went out and I bought myself a cookie. I bought a pack of these chocolate cookie with nuts on them. It looks delicious. I don't feel like cooking, so I made me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with uh, strawberry preserves mixed with orange preserves and peanut butter and a glass of strawberry iced tea. So anyways, before I continue today, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers that have been very, very uh, faithful the past six months. And to those, to those people that are just visiting my channel, if you like my content and find it interesting, then hit that subscribe key and hit that top bell so you get notifications of my future uploads. So we'll continue on a different subject when I come right back. So anyways, um, today's short subject is going to be, you just met someone that is attracted to you and you're attracted to them, but they have no idea that you're a transsexual woman. Now, <clears throat> in your mind, you know exactly how many times you'll meet them before you tell them. But of course, you have no idea how they're going to react. Now, <clears throat> several years ago, I met someone. He was from California and he was a retired firefighter and he chose to live out his retirement in Florida. So anyways, we met at my favorite location and we found a great cozy spot and we sat down and we talked about each other's lives and what we're looking for in a relationship. And right from the start, I was very attracted to this person. And they were telling me that they were also attracted to me. So, to make a long story short, we spoke for about four hours. And uh, <clears throat> we ended up making out and we kissed. But unfortunately, it was time for us to go our separate ways. So, all the way home, driving, I thought about this person that I just met. And... I was wondering to myself, where was this person years ago? We just seemed to hit it off. I said everything was, I said everything right, and they said everything right. But the following day, this person called me up and asked me, Stephanie, I just want to let you know, I had an incredible time yesterday. I am so attracted to you and you're so beautiful. And I thanked him and I said, I'm very attracted to you too. And I like you just as much. <clears throat> but then he dropped the bomb and he said, I just have one question for you. 
And I said, <clears throat> what is it? He said, after we went our separate ways, I came home and all last night while I was in bed trying to sleep, I couldn't sleep because something was running through my mind. And I said, what was running through your mind? He said, just give me a yes or a no. <clears throat> I said, okay. He said, are you a transsexual woman? And my mouth opened up and he caught me off guard, but I was expecting something. He said, just give me a yes or a no. I said, yes, I am. And then there was a moment of silence. And then he says, I don't know if I can continue with this relationship. I don't know what I'm going to tell my family. I have never dated a transsexual woman before, but I'm so attracted to you and I like you so much. And I said, well, did you enjoy the time that we spent yesterday? He said, yes. I said, did you enjoy when we kissed? He said, what's not to enjoy? I said, it's just that I have never dated a transsexual woman. I don't know how my family is going to handle this. I don't know what to tell my kids. I don't know what to tell my parents. And I can just see my family right now, he said. I'm never going to hear the end of it. I'm sorry, but I can't continue this. I said, well, you have to do what's right to you, for you. And he hung up. And that was about six or seven years ago. And I never saw this guy ever again. So from time to time, this comes up. And I think about what if. What if we hit it off? What if his family brought up the subject? And what if I educated him or took him to one of my uh, support group meetings that we had back then when I was, when I met him? <clears throat> I couldn't help to think of how I would have reacted if I was in his shoes, okay? What would I would have done? Would I been, what, would I have been okay with dating a transsexual woman if I was a cisgender person? What if I had never come out to my parents? Would I have dated a transsexual woman? And I'm going to try to be as honest as I can. If I was attracted to someone who was a transsexual woman just like me, whether you're post-op or pre-op, I don't think it matters. Because in the past, in my videos, I talked about how it's not what's between your legs that make you a man or a woman, but it's what's between our ears. What's between our ears is what decides what gender we truly feel inside of us. Now, what if I was this person and my, my whole family were Catholics, devoted Catholics. Go to church every single Sunday and I had children. And throughout all my relationships, I only dated cisgender people. I never dated a gay person. I never even thought of dating a transsexual person because we are rare. We are a minority, okay? 
we could very easily say, well, all we have to do is take them to one of our support groups to help them understand how to cope, to give his family the right answers. To me, he was willing to give up on something that could have been great. But maybe I'm just saying that because I'm not in his shoes. I don't know. Okay? To be honest with you, does he, does he have the strength? Would you consider him a man's man? A man's man is somebody who is gung-ho, um, who is man enough to date someone and not tell his family and his friends and his children, but keep me aside as a secret. You know what happens today in society? A transsexual will have a boyfriend, but the boyfriend will never take her home to meet the parents. Will never take her to meet his friends. And most likely will take her out to eat and they'll go straight to a motel or a hotel room or go park somewhere as they make out. And then at the end of the day, she's gone on her own. And maybe he's married and she has no idea that he's married. And it just, it just could probably possibly be that he's promising her, when we're ready, I'll introduce you to my family. Right now it's too early. He'll probably say this for months and months until one day he'll create a reason just to break up with her. Maybe not. We're not good enough for us to go to their parents' home to meet them, okay? He might be really attracted to us or we could just be a fantasy for them. Very few relationship of transsexual women and cisgender men ever succeed. There have some that have succeeded, but most don't succeed. They feel too much pressure on them. What will my friends think? They might think I'm gay. Well, clearly, if they think like that, right from the get-go, then they must not see you as a woman, okay? To them, you might be a fantasy, a toy, something different than what they've had, okay? I can't even begin to put myself in their shoes because I'm not like that. But there are a lot of men like that. Um, I met a guy one time at a gym where I worked out and uh, I would say hi to him but he would never say hi to me when he's at the gym with his girlfriend. So one time I came home and I'm browsing through my Facebook and I saw him listed as a possible friend or someone who I may know on my Facebook. So I friended him and he friended me back. It didn't take too long for us to start communicating because he started confiding in me that he finds me very hot, he finds me attractive. And he was describing to me these moves I made in the gym that caught his attention. So one time we were chatting online on Facebook and he asked me if I wanted to meet him for coffee. I said, yeah. 
Let me describe this gentleman to you. He's about 6'4", salt and pepper hair, slight tan from Johannesburg, Africa. He was a white male, but he spoke with this British accent. Very attractive, dead, dead drop gorgeous. So I had agreed to meet him at Starbucks for coffee. And when I got there, I was like, oh my God, he looks handsome. He was dressed in a tee, okay? He had a tie on and he left his house early so we can meet for coffee at Starbucks. We had a great conversation and he began by saying, I want you to know that I have to be totally honest with you, that I do have a girlfriend, but I'm not very fond of her, he said. Um, she's more like a family friend, but we've been dating. Whether it was true or not, at the time, I didn't care. I was having a good time with him and he wasn't married, but he did have a girlfriend, which I should have just stayed away. So as he got up and we we're gonna say our, our goodbyes until we spoke next time, he leaned over and uh, he kissed me for a long time. And he says, I wanna see you again. So it never worked out. Um, I decided to end it because I know he had a girlfriend but his whole idea of a relationship was he only wanted to see me on the side, okay, until he could figure out what to tell his girlfriend, he said, okay. Uh, he, never, he never asked me if I was a trans or not, but one night he texted me and told me, are you a girly boy? And I said, I'm just a woman. Okay, but I knew he had, I knew he knew. So my point is this, a lot of men find us attractive, but to a lot of men, we're, we're a fantasy for, for them. Why? Because they visualize us possibly being pre-op or post-op and we're a turn on for them. To them, we're never gonna meet their friends and their family. We're a secret. And they expect us, they, they expect us to only see them and talk with them. But in the meantime, they could be married or they could be dating somebody else. And we're supposed to go along with it until they boot us to the curb. Okay, so. What about if somebody really liked you, okay? And he was caught between his family and you. In my perspective, if a man is really a man, a strong man who didn't care what society thought, he was open-minded and he sees you as a woman and didn't care what his family thought after he introduced you to them, if that's the way the relationship was going, that's the real man. Those men seldom come by, okay? And quite frankly, I thought I had men like that, but they were far too old. <laughs> they were far too old in their 60s. Why do I want to date a guy late 60s, early 70s who's going to croak like months down the road or years down the road? His kids are already grown and left the house and they have kids of their own and his parents are already dead. Are those the only guys that have guts because their parents are already dead and they don't have to take us home to introduce us to them? and their kids are already grown, and he don't care what they think? No, I'm 56. I like to meet somebody my age or a little bit younger. 
if I was to date a man? Or what I learned to do is if you meet someone, let them know the first day you meet them or by the third day before, before this goes on months and months and months. Because then if you decide to tell them two or three months down the road, they might see it as being disrespectful or um, you weren't uh, honest in the beginning of who you were, you know. So it makes more sense to come out to them early or within three days. You don't want to meet their friends before you tell them. You don't want to meet their parents before you tell them. I have dated men for months on a time after I told them. The reason I broke up with them wasn't because they were not genuine. They were. They just were the wrong people for me. But what I'm saying is if you tell them early on, you prevent their friends from outing you. Okay, he doesn't want to find out from his friends of who you are in your past. He doesn't want to get it from his family or his children that you just might be a transgender woman. And if you put yourself in their shoes and think to yourself, why didn't she tell me? Why do I got to find out from my son or from my ex or from my, my parents that you're a trans? Why is my friend going to call me up on the phone and tell me that he heard that you're a transsexual woman? You know, for some reason, they shouldn't, but they feel um, betrayed. They feel like you're making a fool out of them. You know, I think they deserve the right to know. It doesn't make you less of a woman to tell them that you've gone through these changes because you were born with gender identity disorder and you sought treatment. You went about it the, uh, the, the right way. You sought uh, uh, counseling and therapy and you went medically the right way. You have support from your family and your friends. This is who you are and your family accepts you. You know, so if they can understand all of this from the get go, then you, you have a chance of a successful relationship. But after you tell them and they agree, but you see that they never introduce you to their family or their children or their friends, or you never do things with them like go out to a movie with the friends or a double dating thing or uh, group activities with his friends and your friends. If that doesn't happen, it's because you're his secret. But if he accepts you and he's open-minded and he wants you for the right reasons, then this relationship can work out. Everything else that happens within this relationship is something that would happen in any relationship, not in a transgender relationship. Any issues that happen should have nothing to do with you being trans. Now, it's not to say that there could be people talking behind the backs of you two. That could happen because people are just people and he can't control the thoughts of his friends and his families, okay? But if you're genuine to you and that you love you and if you care about him or her, okay, that's, that's all that needs to be, right? That's the kind of relationship that everybody's looking for, where everybody's honest right up front. There's no secrets. There's nobody's hiding anything. You know, nobody's hiding or going out late at night so you don't be seen. 
okay? And you get to be you. You get to be you and nothing else, okay? You're not going to feel like you're being used, like a fantasy thing. <laughs> I think it's so important to get it out early, then wait months and months, and then let it fall right in its face. You know, you can only do that so many times before you say, hey, maybe it's time to come clean and hope for the best. If it's meant to be, it's going to be. So I hope that this little conversation resonated with you guys. And if you guys have been thinking about the same thing that I've been thinking in this conversation, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, share, and write a comment. Let a comment letting me know what you think, okay? Everybody wants to meet the right person. I, I didn't come into this world or go through my transition just so I can meet someone. I've had a lot of relationships before I transitioned and after I transitioned, okay? Right now in my life, I'm going through a very, very... Um, interesting phase in my life and I'm still discovering who I am all right so I hope to I hope to talk with you guys soon and uh, you guys have a great evening bye bye